Hello, I'm Retro Jules. Well, after having rather a lot of fun in my Camp Panzer 50T, I decided that maybe I should get back to the grind of artillery. And I didn't plan on making another artillery video, but I had a rather splendid, fun, amusing game. And I thought, I absolutely have to share this with you. And especially because when I made my last artillery videos, I said that actually, you know, artillery isn't as exciting to play. So just before we do, let me tell you about the journey. There's Artie. One thing funnier than taking Artie out in a light tank, it's doing it in artillery. Yes! That's Artie out the game. Right, let's get in position. Let's give this guy a little push. I'm going to go to about K... Oh, there's Artie. D9. Artie's getting in position. We've already lit them up. Right. Let's get myself somewhere nice and safe. D9. I reckon it's going to just camp just in that little nook. Just about... Yeah, just in here, so it's could be anywhere in here. But if I can take artillery out early in the game, what an advantage that'll be. Aim, aim, fire. And <laughs> what a shot. Right, let's get in position. Turn around. Right, where do I aim? Ooh, ooh, there's Artie. C1 and A1. Oh, you got to love a good scout that lights up Artie early in the game. I wonder if I can take them both out. I mean, does that artillery not realise it's being targeted? Hey, this is just too easy. Aim. <laughs> Well, that's what. There's the second one, right? It's just aimed just slightly off, so it doesn't realise it's targeted. As long as it doesn't disappear, nah. Right, I think kind. Of, oh, yeah, it just fired. I know where it is. Well, I won't get a Pescucci, but it's a Pescucci's worth of artillery. <laughs> the enemy arty are taken out. Right, I need to fall back. Trouble is, I've got to get so close to the enemy to get any shots in. I had to get up on the bridge. And the trouble is, I'm struggling to do any damage in this tank. I think it's time to change mode. I'm just going to try and shotgun people. And just try and do a bit of damage to progress this tank. A... <laughs> Sneaky little shot, and I bounced some shots too. I didn't bounce that shot. I reckon they will go for our artillery. I think I will just sneak round the back. I am in shotgun mode. I don't care if I die. I just want to get some damage done. And progress. TD's coming up. Do you know what? I'm just going to go in for the TD. Don't really know what's going to happen. There it is. Sees me. <laughs> now the light, the light tank's coming round the back. Turn around. Turn around. Use the TD for cover. Here it comes. Any minute now. <laughs> Shotgun! <laughs> right, the, the enemy are capping. I'm the last tank standing. I've already peppered a couple of shots into the cap, trying to blind fire. And you can see where they've landed. Now, if I was a tank attempting a cap, I would sit right where artillery had already fired not expecting it to fire again in the same place. 
<laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what they did. <laughs> Still lost the game though. <sighs> They're coming up behind. We've lost this game. I managed to take artillery out early on. Just try and do some damage now. There's the light tank. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to end well now for us. Ah. So this is the game. This was my exciting game in artillery that I thought I'd never have. This game goes right down to the last minute. This game goes right down to the last minute with me as an active player still alive. And generally, I would say as, as artillery, you are quite often alive till the end because you are at the back of the map and the last tank discovered. But that very often gets scuppered by a good scout on their team who absolutely wants to take you out. Or I have found that playing artillery, I am always trying to take artillery out as well. And just as the game starts, I might just pepper a few shots as to where I think artillery could be. This M40 isn't fully unlocked, it's just the first package, it's the small gun, but I've got a little bit more manoeuvrability. And it's on Konas. I do believe that this is the first gameplay on Konas, and it's in artillery. Well, when Konas came out, I wasn't overly enthralled by it, and Having since played it a few times, I think it's just an okay map. I quite enjoy it, but it's one of those maps that I'm completely emotionless about. It's just one of those maps that comes up and I think, oh, okay, it's Konas. Don't hate it, don't love it, very neutral, and absolutely happy to play on it. T29, playing it hull down. And you see, it's not difficult to stay out the way of artillery. If you're targeted and you think it's artillery, all you gotta do is just keep moving, keep jostling around. It's the tanks that stay completely static that are really easy to hit if RNG is on my side. And RNG, as we know, plays a huge, huge part of playing artillery and I have to be straight with you. Our RNG, our RNGesers, was absolutely on my side towards the end of this game. Well, so far, I've achieved absolutely nothing. And see, the T29 just keeps moving and jostling around, and that makes it difficult for me to hit. Unless it decides to stay still. Right, first shot that hits in the game. See, they're bouncing off its turret and I'm just aiming to the side so it doesn't think that I'm actually targeting it because it's, it's it knows that I'm, I'm on him. I'm aiming at him. Absolutely intent on taking that T29 out. I'm top tier in this game. I'm a tier above this, but I have got a smaller gun than this tank will have when it's fully unlocked. Yeah, it's gone. And I did actually feel a little bit guilty about just targeting one tank continually. I know that's what I'm supposed to do, and I'm supposed to take the tanks out that are dug in, that our enemy can't. And it was, you know, it's all tank destroyers on our side of the map. And I just decided to play the other side of the map. Right, here we go. Jagdpanther. Panther. Oh, they're together. I oh, just love it when tanks group together. Chance of a double bit of damage. Just stay where you are, guys. Just stay there. Incoming! Oh, we got a shot in. But we didn't hit both tanks. We only hit the one of them. But they are nice targets. And I feel that the east flank is very well covered by our TDs. And I think the west flank is the weakness, and that's where I decided to aim. Another Yag Panther disappears. 
Yeah, that, that target's on the move. I don't fancy that. Panzanaka. Okay. Aim. Aim. Incoming! Oh, nice. That was a nice, juicy shot. Right, back over to the Yag Panther. This is the side I want to focus on, really, because I think I, I'm more of a benefit taking the enemy out on this side of the map. They're together again. And this is me being a little bit greedy because they're not really together. And I thought, well, if I aim in between them, the chances of my shot actually landing dead centre are fairly unlikely. I will splash one or the other. And it landed dead centre and damaged nothing. Just stay there. Just stay where you are. As long as you stay still, I can... Yeah. Oh, just got a splash in the tracks. And it's taken out. This game is completely even. They've got one more tank destroyer. We are now one tank ahead. There they are, grouped up together again. Oh, missed. Come on. Come on. I just love the fact that these two guys are staying together because it just would hopefully make it easy for me to damage them. The trouble is, there's nobody out there spotting them now. I'm just taking a blind shot thinking they might just roll up to the front of the cliff there to do some spotting. And we're now one tank down. And we've got no mobile tanks out there to spot. I'm out of radio range of the heavy. No idea where the heavy is. I've not been keeping track. TDs are moving forward. There it is. It's the Panzernaka. I don't have a shot. But they take the Panzernaka out. They've evened the game up again. Ten apiece. Five tanks alive on each side. And I'm wondering... Actually, because that west flank was so exposed, and it has been exposed for quite some time, probably a good idea for me to relocate. Just try and get somewhere safe. Oh, there's the heavy at B9. I think I just need to get the other side of the cap. If I was, if I was the enemy, I, I would... Possibly, and I was thinking of capping, I would be coming from the south. So if I can park up just behind these little hills up here. Oh, there? Oh, okay. Not sure that's overly safe, but that's the position we've chosen. There's an SU. So they've got three tank destroyers and artillery is still in play. We get a shot in. And we get some tracking assist too. Lovely. Lovely. E25. Very mobile. Fast firing. Evil little tank destroyer. That actually. And that could cause me a problem later. Get a shot in. That was lucky. Our TDs are moving in. I'm just waiting for artillery to light up. Get artillery out the game. Maybe we have an advantage because it's two TDs and an RT on either side. This game could go anywhere. Come on guys, I, I need a target. I am completely useless unless you guys light something up. And the tank A5 is moving forward Thank you. The one at D5 is just sitting pretty. I guess they don't both need to go in. It's not lit anything up. And I'm just kind of wondering where that E25 went. And I'm thinking, is it going to circle round and attempt to cap? Is it thinking about taking artillery out? There's the two, so there's the E25, so it's not. They've both gone, they've both gone to defend the cap. 
And we've lost one of our tank destroyers. And that guy sent me a message in game and just said, sorry mate, and it was like, don't worry. You know, you tried, you did the right thing. There's the E25. The game is still even, a tank destroyer and arty on either side. And the trouble is that E25 is fast. It's a one shot for anybody. It's a ram, it's an easy kill. I just snap a shot, just hoping. No idea where artillery is. Our TD is trying to come round. I'm nearly reloaded. There's Artie. Aim. Aim. Oh, no, that's going to miss. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that shot. Bugger. Oh. Right, well, they're both defending the cap. Our TD's still alive, lighting them up. I just need to get some shots in. Oh. RT takes out our TD. I am the last tank standing. What use can an artillery piece be at the end of the game? It's me versus their artillery and a very mobile tank destroyer on a tiny smidge of health. I don't know why you're pinging me, I know where I am. So, if I was the enemy team, I think I'd attempt to cap. And if I was a fast mobile tank destroyer, I, I would either attempt to cap or try and find their artillery. As to what their artillery is going to do, I don't know. Effectively, if they both got to the cap, they would have an advantage. But the M40 is not a fast tank. It's going to take a long time to get there. And I'm just sitting here <laughs> thinking, I don't really know what to do. So sort of just under three and a half minutes of the game left. But I'm thinking, I don't know why, but I'm thinking that the E25 is going to come from the west, southwest, south position somehow. I just, I don't know why, but I don't think it's going to come from the north. I've kind of got a 50-50 chance of being faced in the right direction here. And it's in the cap. Somebody's in the cap. It's got to be the E25. There it is. I'm just going to go for a bit of a snapshot here. <laughs> and it works. Right, move, move. Artillery know where you are. Move. Artillery takes its shot and misses. This is hand-to-hand -hand combat now. This is Artie versus Artie. Where is their Artie and what is it thinking of doing? And actually, more to the point, what am I going to do? I mean... Either of us could attempt the cap. Either of us could defend the cap, thinking that the other person's going to try and cap. I am going to make the decision, with just under two minutes to go, to head towards their cap. I haven't got enough time to cap the game out. As it stands, the game would be a draw. So I guess it's worth just rolling across the dead centre of the map and you never know, might spot artillery. What happens then? I haven't thought that far ahead. Whatever it's going to be, it's got to be some sort of shotgun, maybe. I'm not sure there's going to be time left for proper aiming in. So last time we saw their artillery, it was around about C1 in that area defending the cap. Sixth sense. It's got a line of sight. I'm targeted. There it is. A. Aim. A. 
away. Who's gonna get the shot in first? <laughs> we both took the shot at the same time. My shot hit. Their shot missed. We win the game for the team. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen in that game. It was tense and it was fun. And actually, I really enjoyed that. And it came in with 2,500 damage, 600 assisted, second class mastery. And how do we do overall? We came fourth and we won it for the team. Really enjoyed that game. It's not often I have a clutch game. It's not often I have a clutch game and I make the right decisions. It's not often that I have a clutch game, I make the right decisions in artillery and RNG is on my side. It was just one of those games where it kind of all came together. Well, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Keep safe, keep tanking and I'll see you soon.